Hey guys, I just checked into my accommodation and guess what was waiting for me? A box of Home Chef. This package was delivered this morning and it is 9 p.m. Up on the top, we have sheets of recipes. You order your dishes online in advance. Here we have the barbecue and butternut squash flatbread, jerk chicken, thigh stuffed poblanos, Thai pork spring roll in a bowl. Which of these excites you the most? To see other meals and recipes by Home Chef, check out their website. They offer new dishes every week. Be sure to use my discount code to get $30 off your order. The link is in the description box. And yes, this video is sponsored by Home Chef. All opinions are mine. Let's unwrap some more. It opens like a book. Reuse or recycle. Feels a little bit like Christmas. I really want to cook, but I am tired. I woke up at 5.30 a.m. this morning. So I'm gonna pack this into the fridge and then we're gonna cook with a fresh brain tomorrow. The dishes we have are instructed to be cooked within five to seven days. So time is on our side. And these cooling packs I will reuse. So let's put them in the freezer. Good morning! Last night I went to bed wondering, which of these should we cook? A unicorn appeared in my dreams last night and it was riding a carpet. And when I squinted, I was like, what is that carpet? It was a flatbread. I think the unicorn was trying to tell us something. So let's look at the instructions. Preheat oven to 400 degrees. Thoroughly rinse the produce and pat dry. Mince the cilantro. Halve the butternut squash cubes. Have and peel onion. Slice halves into thin strips. Our onion looks like purple and white rainbows. Next up, we cook the butternut squash. In a microwave-safe bowl, combine one tablespoon of olive oil. It turns out they don't have olive oil in this kitchen, but I did bring my coconut oil. It's gonna alter the flavor a little bit, but it's okay, because I like coconut. One tablespoon of coconut oil, one tablespoon of chipotle pesto, which comes pre-made. Reminds me of a meatball. All right, we mix it all up. Microwave until softened, six to eight minutes. Place a large nonstick pan over medium-high heat. Add one tablespoon of olive oil. Once again, I shall use coconut oil as a substitute. Add in the onions. Stir occasionally until browned for 10 to 13 minutes. The butternut squash is done, but it's gonna be quite hot to touch most likely, so let's let that sit there for a little bit. Some slices are quite brown now. I think it's time for the next step. We're gonna add the red wine vinegar. Stir until dissolved, about 30 to 60 seconds. Then remove from burner. Here's a butternut squash situation. Next up, we're going to par-bake the flatbreads. Place flatbreads directly on oven rack and bake in hot oven until lightly browned, six to eight minutes. We got two of them. Hasta la vista, bebe. After that, we're going to assemble and bake the flatbreads. Six minutes later. Carefully place flatbreads on a clean working surface. We're gonna evenly spread the barbecue sauce on the flatbreads. The sauce is the boss. We're given two packages. So maybe we put one package on each one. Would that be enough or too much? I don't know, let's try it. Ooh, I feel like I'm painting. Ooh, that edge is crunchy already. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do some experimentation. On this one, let's put the onions first. For this guy, we're gonna add the butternut squash first. Spread it evenly, some to the edges. This edge looks particularly lonely, so there. Now let's add the butternut squash on the first guy. Add onions onto the second dude. There are no non scratch utensils at this accommodation, so I'll carefully use this fork. Let us get cheesy and let it rain. Cheese makes me fart because I'm lactose intolerant, but I still love it unconditionally. This one, I'll give more glory to the middle, more cheesiness. We're gonna place the flatbreads directly on the oven rack with a baking sheet on the rack below to catch any drips. Bake until the cheese is melted. Five to seven minutes. All right, it's been five minutes and I wish you were here to inhale the air with me. I was a little bit hungry, but now I'm really hungry, just smelling it. You know what? I think I'm gonna cook a little bit more. Maybe two minutes, maybe one minute. What do you do with one minute? Dance, of course. Okay, it's been a minute. 
those edges are getting crispier. Let's wait 30 seconds this time. All right, let's do it. Let's take it out. Welcome to the world. And now we're gonna dress you up in accessories. Which one do you guys like more? Left or right? A or B? A looks more lively, like the sun. B looks more moody, like autumn turning into winter. We're gonna garnish them with cilantro and sour cream. In the photo, the way they place the sour cream, it looks like small marshmallows. Boop, 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 boop. Being too gentle. Gotta get more wild here. Another boop there. Boop, 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 boop. And then we sprinkle on cilantro. Oh, that splash of green just, ooh, ooh. That was a good beginning. Usually by the second or third bite, that's when you feel the flavor. So let's continue. Let's crunch on. Got onion on that. The first bite is like you're walking towards a jungle. Second bite is you're entering the jungle. Third bite is adrenaline. You're getting deep. You're scared what's gonna happen, but you know it's gonna be an adventure. If you go back, you know the taste of that life. You gotta go forward. That brings us to, I think it's the fourth bite. Mm. The flavor, it's like a hug in the mouth. Comforting. If you had a rough day, this is gonna cuddle your taste buds. That crunch means serious business. You guys wanna try Home Chef? Be sure to click the link in the description box to get $30 off your first order. Here's what I like about Home Chef. After you've had a long day and want to eat something tasty, Home Chef could save you time and energy. Without having to stop by the market, stand in line, and spend more miles on the road, you can head straight home. A box of many meals is waiting for you. I imagine Home Chef would also be beneficial for stay-at-home parents, reducing the number of errands to run. You can select dishes up to four weeks in advance. Hope you guys enjoyed cooking with me. It was my first time preparing a dish with flatbread, and I loved biting into its crispy edges. Remember to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Toodles, my noodles. What's inside? Let's open it. And you see there are punctured holes here, and you can put it in a folder and refer to the recipes later on. As for the remaining package, the recycling instruction says to cut the plastic liner open and dispose of the cotton fiber and trash. The insulated liners are made of recycled cotton and denim. Is it just me or does this look kind of cute? I want to save it. I want to cuddle it. But where are the tongs around here? So let's set the timer for six minutes and then we'll check on how lightly brown it is. While all that's going on, let's prepare the assembly station. Have you ever looked at a painting and thought, I want to eat that? Well, in this case, you can. And before we eat, I must take the thumbnail photo. Ah, oh, patient stomach. <laughs> Should we try A or B first? This is the one with a lot of cheese in the middle. Really feeling that. 